You got it, buddy? Look out. <laughs> First day, day one. Haven't seen a buffalo yet. I'm a bit disappointed. Yeah, just, just no bull. A lot of bull though. A lot of bull around camp, but no yeah. buffalo. Yeah. Steaming mounds of carcasses and piled up, and people screaming for more ammo. <laughs> no. And we woke up. G'day guys, Monday morning, we're not at work, we're here in the Northern Territory, <laughs> you can see him behind me, we're um, on the Roper River looking for buffalo and pigs, this is our, this is our acclimatisation hunt, we went out this morning around 7 and it's about 10 o'clock, it's pretty hot but it's not unbearable, the humidity uh, was up in the morning but there's a slight breeze coming through. Unfortunately the breeze is blowing behind us now so we're probably going to turn around and head back to camp. We're only um, doing a pitch camp today. We're going to move this afternoon to a more permanent camp further into the property. Seen, uh, we've seen two pigs and had a really good chance on uh, one pig but we won't go into that because it involves John A. So <laughs> he's behind the camera. So just so a little bit about gear. Um, the 9.3 is here with me, the Seiko 85. Got the QU backpack, but probably the most important thing is we're running a water system that we've been advised to run by some of the guys up here in the territory. So it's a three part system. Firstly, in the backpack, you have the standard camelback. So there's three liters of um, you know, room temperature water. We then have in our pack a small um, insulated bottle that has electrolytes in it and we're running this third bottle which is a much larger bottle and it's full of ice and the idea is you trickle feed some of your water into this as the day goes on so you've always got ice cold water to drink the theory being that this cools you down in terms of your core much faster than continually sucking room temperature or creek temperature water so this is actually to kind of cool your core down and being that it's an insulated bottle it lasts all day so you just keep trickle feeding a bit of water in that drink it out and keep going and it seems to be working um, we're not pushing it too hard but we're comfortable Ian's ready to go again <laughs> so he's real comfortable so we're gonna head back to camp now uh, probably um, pack up move camp and then get an afternoon hunt in. Haven't seen any buffalo activity on this particular stretch of water. Heard a cow uh, move. We heard a cow move. But and there's no prints and there's no you know there's no sign of big heavy animals moving through here. But there is lots and lots of pig activity. So we'll see if we can pick one up and then tomorrow being Tuesday will probably be our first full buffalo day. So we'll we'll keep in your loop. Yeah, 
Yeah. One, first shot's here. Oh yeah. Second shot here. After about three misfires from not getting the safety right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was just about to cock my own. It's a monster. It is, yeah, isn't it? Just saying. It's a big thing. So, um, anyway, coming across the creek up here, what have we been walking? About an hour and a half? Something like that, a couple of hours? And I bumped the pig down into the creek, which was a bit annoying because I should have been a bit more ready for it. I'd just come around the corner and there was water in there. I thought, oh, this looked awesome. Anyway, that was probably 150 metres further back. And uh, we just come around the creek and honestly, I thought it was a buffalo because you can't judge distance too easily. But um, it was just a massive bodied animal. Quick check with Matt and yep, it was a sizable pig. So first round went into here, just in top of the shoulder where it should have been. And the follow up one on the run just went into the side here. So she was well and truly down and she probably only went 30 metres fell over and, and uh, that was the end of it so anyway good action for the first first real day hunting good fun look at the size of her what do you reckon she weighs there was a lot of pig in there there's a lot of pig there huh? Oh, nice shot, brother. Hey? Nice shot. Nice and low. Another sound. I was just saying, this has been a really good loan from our friends at Verita. Thanks, guys. This one's for you. Just walked up on another dam, and I was just the lucky one nearest the pig, so it got a headache and a gut ache. It's another good sized sow. Yeah. Not hey. Good it's size. not as big as the other one, but we're into the action. It's good fun. Awesome. Let's go. Good. We're good. You want to say something? I do. Welcome well, to the whatever it is. <laughs> never, never land like Welcome it. to the Nether Nether. The buffalo are that way, they tell us. So hopefully, in a few hours' time, you'll see us with buffalo, or maybe you'll never see us again. Because <laughs> they might have been lying to us. Yeah, they're sending us off to our death. So we're heading west along a expanse of Billabong. We're going to be exploring every bit of water we come to. You can't see it, but there's big white gums. That's generally a good sign of holding water, so we're going to explore around those. And see how we go. Hoping to shoot it very close to the truck. <laughs> very close to the truck. Because <laughs> it could be a very long way back out. Yeah, good context. We're, uh, so it's the afternoon, obviously. We've been um, out already. We did a 10k hunt this morning. This morning. Yeah. Knocked a couple of pigs, which you'll see, which was fun, but it sort of got out. Our legs, didn't it? 36, yeah. 37 degree, Very 10 kilometre walk. Yeah. Now it's the heat of the day. Uh, it was 42 in the truck on the way here. It's probably dropped down about 39. Yes, yeah, 38, 39. And it'll degrees. pick up a little bit more before we finish. So. And we're heading into the sun. Into the, the sun. sun. What more could you like? Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be fun. Come along. And see how we go. Ian's learned a new word. What are we going to say? Um, Take me to the buffalo. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. Let's vie. Let's vie. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we got a, uh, a donkey, first of our big game species. Um, we're actually here on the, uh, the buffalo section, but we, uh, we came up to this creek bed and uh, we did see some donkey poo and, and that on the way and Ian actually spotted some, what looked like, he thought was looked like horse footprints and I said, no, that'll be a donkey. 
and then next thing you know this one was under the trees so we uh, we crept up well I crept up couldn't get a clear shot there was just all this brush in the way um, but managed to to get a shot um, quite a big animal he took a couple to come down um, but we've got him we've got the uh, the BRX which again is performing awesomely um, it's just a great rifle for these conditions uh, and can even work well on on big game so here we go first donkey sorry in I know you were pretty keen on one um, but we've got one down and buffalo's next We've had our run on buffalo, ran into a mob or a herd, learned a valuable lesson. There's a lot of eyes in a buffalo herd, makes it very difficult to sneak up on. We got close a couple of times but there was no real shot in it and uh, when you're shooting something that big, so there was some very nice bulls in the herd. You want to make sure your shot placement's right on. So we watched them slowly slip away. We've had a fantastic day. Ian shot the biggest pig I've ever seen and then followed it up with what normally would have been a fantastic sized pig, but that first one just really took the cake. And John Ace managed himself a donkey. So, we've had the trifecta today. All right, now I'm going to ask Mark a question. Do you want to do a quick gear review? Sure. What kind of underwear do you wear? Uh, and why um, are they filling up with uh, bullback sweat? Because I've been walking for 18 k's. <laughs> I've been walking for 18 k's and uh, it's 30 something degrees. It's our first gear failure. And about, no, they're not far off, they're just uh, not performing it at the, the rate they should be. At optimal, optimal um, I must say, I'm wicking. Long leg one. Good one. And they are working at the shrink. Don't wear them tomorrow. No, no, no. Clean, clean underwear every day. Every day. Every day, clean underwear. Oh, and I'm, socks. I'm rocking the Step One bamboo. Oh, you got the Step Ones, have you? I've had Step Ones for a couple of years. I always buy the Kmart yeah, Alpha. Yeah, long legs or short legs. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. No, no, it's a, it's a... Um, I wear the Kmart Alpha. I've got the Kmart Alpha ones. That's what I've got. Long it's leg a, sport. I've worn them for no years. No sweat, no chafe, no write up. Nothing. No, they're just. They're not, marvellous. they're not failing, they're just not as good as they could be. Uh, yesterday I wore the Bonds X Temp, they were pretty good. Oh, that's the socks. I have a pair of Mackpack hiking socks, oh, yeah. and they are doing fine. the job. Yeah. yeah. My feet are throbbing from walking all day, but. And we've got sausage fingers from the no blood circulation being cut off at arm level up here, no. down to this arm, and my hands have been swelling so damn hot but that's okay mountain designs hiking socks so far so good anywho that's enough about underwear let's go this way oh well we made it back that's about 20 k's today and um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back to camp as I said about another hour to go for the drive something to eat, get a bit cleaned up, get ready for tomorrow. See if we can close the deal on a buffalo. It's uh, Wednesday morning. Our second full day hunting. 
We're in a similar location than we were yesterday afternoon. Just a little bit north. And this morning road we're going west. We're going east. Let's see if we can find anything in the in the channels. Camera ready? I'll put my foot next to it. Try not to get eaten by a couple of Spooky. That's it, brother. I got him now. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pigs. <coughs> so as I'm hunting the Brisbane Valley, I spend a lot of time looking at game on the other side of the fence. And uh, come to the Northern Territory, hunting on a 50 by 50 square kilometre concession. And guess what? Pig of a lifetime <laughs> is on the other side of the wire. It's about a kilometre away, but you can see it with the naked eye. It's a monster. I thought it was a buffalo at first, but it's just this huge pig. It's got about five or six other huge pigs with it, and they're just on the other side of the wire. A pretty spectacular lagoon. So, we'll be leaving them alone, pretending we didn't see them, and heading that way, looking for buffalo. Now that is some fresh buffalo turd. I've got about 90 minutes light left in the day, and we're going to run it right down, see if we can find this guy. You can see where the buffaloes actually cut Matt's track from last night. So, we know there's a buffalo been up this road in the last 12 hours. Well, this is the third dead buffalo we've found this morning. The other two have been dead for a while and they've been skinned out. One had its head removed as well. But this guy, he got shot last night, you can tell. Blood's still coming out of him. He's been shot up the bum. Okay. I'd say he's been running up the hill and they fired on him. Picked him up on the hill. On Took the one side. back strap and one head and blood is still literally pouring out of him. So he's only been dead a little while. Well, I will eventually. Friday afternoon. Ready to go.
Well, guess what? Buffalo number one down. What a crack of a Friday afternoon. And that one is number one. There's number two. And there's the man himself who got me here. See, this is what happens. You start podcasts, you meet guys like this, and you end up with this. Here we are. We're going to try and take this on a four and a half hour flight. Sorry, the light to your face. That's it. That way. Oh, look at that. Now I'm, I'm now enthralled by the yellow, the Don't green light. Like so um, anyway, lots of water preparation. So and we've spoke about the actual system we're using, and that's made sure that no one's had a day down because they've got dehydrated or just too worn out. So that's been so great. It's been, it's been unreal. Yeah, I, had, works, eh? I had one it's cramp. Works. Yeah, one like cramp getting out of my tent. Morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. five o'clock in the morning, needing to get up for a wee. Um, but that happens in those tents, and we'll talk about tents yeah. later. Do you call that cramp? <laughs> Still an opportunity there. <laughs> 